somebody who had him previously when they declawed him, um, rather than knocking him out and doing it the right way, they took a pair of wire cutters and uh, that frayed his nerve, so he has a very hard time putting weight on it. Um, now when he arrived, like I had mentioned, we have um, two vets in particular that donated lead at the time in services floor, so he had his physical, and we discovered that he's got cancer. <laughs> Did you have a good week? Did you have a good week? And the two of them came from an educational facility in Florida, uh, basically letting the public know about the plight of the big cats in the wild. Hi. And they knew the day would come when they'd get to be too big. He here, Chewy, originally came from a, um, he was in a petting zoo. And then from there he went to a private owner. And when he was with her, he got a really bad cut in his right front hoof and she didn't want to deal with it. Um, she's like, you know, she dropped him off here. She's like, you know what, feed him for, use him for lion food, feed him for lion food. Now, he would be a good example of um, the dedication that Jill and Jim have to their animals. They literally, every four hours around the clock, had to change his Band-Aid and give him the medication that he needed just to bring down that infection. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes. Hi. What's up, big guy? Raj, come here. Here, Raj. 11 years ago, he was in a small cat taxi, like he'd have a regular house cat in. And the guy that had him wasn't too smart. He was actually using a cougar to guard his drugs. And cougars make a very, uh, very unique noise. This was in an apartment complex. So when the other tenants heard, the cougar sound in the basement. They called the landlord who called the authorities. And when they went to the guy's apartment, they found Obi-Wan here in a small cat taxi. Weighed about 25 pounds, 20, 25 pounds. Now fast forward 11 years, he's grown and grown and grown and grown. And now weighs probably at least 650, 675 pounds. Good to see you too, hi. Oh, I know, hello my dear. Whenever they hear the Harley Davidson motorcycle that triggers them to roar, it's something about the vibration of the engine of the Harley. To them, sounds like another line approaching. So whenever the biker groups come up, um, every 15 minutes or so, they'll start up, rev up their Harley Davidson, and you can hear all of them roaring. So it's really cool. Hi. If you can hear her, she's purring. Cougars are only big cats that purr. Hi, Kaya. What's up, sweetheart? Good to see you, too. Hi. You know, where people, um, they're having animals that they shouldn't be having, they're abusing them, and they're really not taking care of them, care of them the way that they need to. So these all here are going to be fostered, and eventually they'll be found a, a good new home. Uh, well, hello. Hello, my dear. Hi, Siva. Did you have a good week? <laughs> well, hello, princess. How are you doing, huh? Hello. Oh, I know. Good to see you, too. Uh, <laughs> 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 